Hi there crafty peeps, Enos here from Paper Crafting with Enos and I'm on today with my project shares for Decorate Your Life. If you have been following along on my channel, you probably know that I was asked by Sandy and Jenny if I would be a guest designer with a few of their paper collections. So I did post my previous project, which was, and I'm going to give you a little peek at that, this beautiful box. It's a little mailbox with a dangle. And inside I have a grouping of cards and envelopes that I made. And I will link that video down below if you'd like to check that out. But in the meantime, this group of projects I'm going to show you today were created with Sweet Bliss and Country Lovin'. Now these collections, while I'm not going to take the papers out and show them to you, are very sweet and cutesy with a little bit of a Valentine vibe in them. So that's why we're pulling these out for the month of February. If you'd like to see my unboxings of these papers, I will also link that down in the description box below. So I'm going to put these aside and I'm going to show you what I made and we'll go over it. Now, the project is kind of big, so I don't think I'm going to be able to fit it in the camera lens with my camera in the stand. So let me take my phone out and just give you a little look of the project here. Okay, excuse all my mess in the background. <laughs> I have a very small and very full craft room. But anyway, here is the project that I made. It is a stationary box. It has three levels. I did do the outside of the box with the design paper. And this side has the exact same layout of papers. Then for the front box here, well, for all of the front boxes, I'm using this. I don't, I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like balloons to me. But I have a little cut out here with the heart from the collection. I backed it up with some rose gold glitter cardstock. I have some beautiful lace with pearls and flowers. I believe that came from Timu. Then behind this section here, we've got some more lace with some little jemmies on it. And this lace came from the Dollar Tree. Then this little section is broken up into two pieces. And it too has the lace from the Dollar Tree with some jemmies there. And then there's another project there. So that's an overview of the project itself. And let me just measure this real quick. From front to back, it is six inches. And side to side, it is six inches. The tallest pocket is about seven and a half. The middle pocket is five. Well, a little under five. And the bottom one is about three and a half. So it's a nice size stationary box. Yeah, so there it is. Now I'm going to put my camera back on the stand and we're going to take a peek at the projects inside. So hold on a second. Okay, I'm going to start with the front here, okay? So what I have tucked... Oh, and I forgot. Some of the pockets, I actually have these rose gold Cupid arrows, there's one right here, one right here, and you're going to see some probably in one of the other projects. So I'm going to just set that aside. And what I've done here is made a grouping of six greeting cards, and I did leave them blank on the inside so that the recipient can either just make notes or they can turn them into Valentine cards or birthday cards or just because cards. So I, what I did was I made an envelope for each one. These are an A2 size card. And I tied each one up with a little piece of, of glittery ribbon there. So we just take that off. And you'll see here I'm using some of the cardstock from the Sweet Bliss collection. I have a die cut in the background here. And I use this die cut on all of the cards that I've gotten. A couple of them have different shades of pink though. So if you notice something's different, I ran out of one shade. So I've just filled in with another. And then I've got a collage of ephemera. And I believe most of this ephemera came from Michael's, but you will see some little vellum pieces. And a couple other pieces did come from some Valentine collection. I believe I got at Joann's. And also, each card has a little collection of jemmies on it. So that's one card. 
And then here's the second card, and it looks much like this one. The difference is the flowers are a little bit different, and I'm using a different piece of paper from the design collection, and this also is Sweet Bliss. You can see the little jemmies here. Once again, tied up with the little bow, and I have a little ephemera piece here, um, a vellum piece here, and a ticket, and I think those came from Joanne's, but these other pieces came from Michael's. So that's the second card. The third one, another piece of that really cute, sweet paper from Sweet Bliss. This time I'm using little pearls on here, and I have a collage of ephemera. And this is card number four. I'm going to pull the ribbon down a little bit on this one. There we go. I just wanted you to be able to see the images. This paper here is from the Country Loving Collection. And you'll see I have that same die cut there and a different collage of ephemera. And a lot of these are chipboard pieces. And then I have two cards that I did in a landscape fashion. Okay. So these are really cute. And this is from Country Lovin', this paper here. Once again, we got a ticket bag here and some floral and love ephemera pieces. And the last card is this one. And this button design paper is from Country Lovin'. And once again, you'll see I have the little collection of ephemera layered up and we've got a vellum piece tucked in there. So those are the cards that I made and I think those are really, really cute. I love those. And, and those tuck in very nicely in the front here. And then in the center piece, I just took some of the paper from Sweet Bliss. These are scraps actually. And I made an envelope on my envelope punch board, I guess is what you call it. And I'm using this die back here is the the little clipboard die from Chaos Craft. That's what that is back there. And once again, I'm using that glittered rose gold cardstock from Michaels, a chipboard ephemera piece, and tied up. And what's inside here is, and I, my idea with this is you could put ephemera, photos, or even postage stamps. So I just cut out a bunch of these little, this is the base piece for the KS Craft clipboard. And then I have some little cut aparts here. And these cut aparts actually came from the cover sheet in this pack. So here's part of the cover sheet. And I just cut off the two top images and the two bottom images. And I turned them into little journaling cards. So we've got Country Lovin', Country Lovin', Country Lovin', Country Lovin', and then these four are coming from Sweet Bliss. Okay, so that's what's inside that little envelope. And like I said, I, I figured this would be a good place for ephemera, note cards, and maybe even some postage. I'll tie that on later. And then in this little box here, I created a pokey tool and a beatable pen and I thought this matched the box and the paper collection really really well so this is very pretty got a couple little charms dangling down there as well as a little tassel this bead I got from BB craft and these beads and the bead toppers are from Timu and then here's my pokey tool and the charm dangle is similar, but not exact to the one on here. Same thing with these beads. They came from Timu and BB Craft. And this is one of the turkey skewers that I got from Amazon. And I think this was from the Happy Crafter, but I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure. So anyway, that's that. And then the back pocket, I also have a little piece of ephemera here using that glittered rose gold cardstock, and it says live, laugh, love, and another one of the flat back pearls. And here's some more here. And then tucked into the back, we have a folio album. So let me put these other things aside so we can dig into this folio. Okay, 
because it takes up a lot of space. It's it's small, but it's mighty. Take my word for it. Yeah. So this is, let's see here, eight and a half by five and a half. And then thickness, it is one a little over one inch once I got everything inside. So this is one of the main images from Sweet Bliss. And it features these very, very adorable uh, raccoons. And I'm calling him my bow, and I'm calling her the little sweetie. I did double layer up the front, and this has that rose gold glitter cardstock and one of the images from the collection. I am using some trim that I got from Timu, and this is a gorgeous lace with pearls <clears throat> and flowers on there, so so pretty. And I did use some Wink Estella on all the bows and her little dress throughout. So I think that's really cute. And then here's the side. I added another piece of that lace trim. I've got another Cupid arrow here. Oh, this Cupid arrow, I forgot about that one. And just took a scrap piece and did the, the spine with that. And here's the back, another one of the main images in this little tree with all the sprinkles everywhere. This little baby raccoon is getting ready to take a nap. See the little star there? Now the rest of this image actually has a moon on it, I think. So we'll see. It's either a moon or a star. We'll see that in a little bit. Okay. And then here's the other spine. And the front cover actually has a hidden feature. So I'm going to open that up. And you will see down here I've got the little sweetie and once again I've got the wink of Stella I'm using this piece here and this is a little cut out for a die cut that I I can't remember where I got this from but out of my stash anyway it's got that rose gold cardstock you can add a little photo here but I thought this would be a great place for a dedication or to say this book belongs to and then the top has this cute little pop-up raccoon so our little bow has some little hearts floating above his head as he is looking for his sweetie. And then this is a great place for a large photo or you can actually put a couple smaller ones. And you can even put one behind here if you like. So that is my front cover, the hidden spot. And this does open and close with magnets, by the way. So this back piece here has another one of the main images and it has our little raccoon bow floating off in this gorgeous hot air balloon over a field of heart flowers, looking for his sweetie. Isn't that cute? And there's nothing on this. I needed to keep this flat because of all of the bulk that's in this side. And then on this side, I fussy cut around the little sweetie. I did add the Wink Estella to the bow and to her little dress there. Popped up on some chipboard. Then I'm using some of that Dollar Tree heart trim and some little satin bows that Sandy sent to me. And this is a great place for a little photo here. So that's cute. Then it opens up like this, and we're gonna talk about this side. So this side has an image from Sweet, um, actually this is Sweet Bliss and this is Country Lovin'. And I just made a little pocket here with some pink cardstock, and I tucked inside the pocket some little photo mats and what I did here was, um, I actually had the di digital collection of this too. So I shrunk the images down so that I could make some little photo booklets. So those are cute. All right, so that's that one. And here again is our little sweetie in our bow. Once again, I've got the Wink of Stella on there for some added pizzazz. And this one's actually a trifold. Okay, and I did a little notch out there for the thumb. And then here is the little bow in his hot air balloon. So those are my little photo booklets. And then you open this up like this. And look at how long this is. Whee! <laughs> There's a lot to this little folio. So this page has got one of these really pretty images from Sweet Bliss. And then I took a scrap and I just fussy cut around the top. And made a little corner pocket there and here are a couple more of the cut aparts and once again this is the clipboard from KS Craft the large one the small one 
and I use the 110 pound cardstock to print these images and then I just cut it out with my die cut machine. Tuck those in there. Oh, you can actually put little notes on the back or tiny pictures if you want. And then here's a great place for a nice picture and you can tuck some pictures in there if you need to. Then we're going to open this up and on the top here we just have this pink cardstock. Lots of space for photos. This is from Country Lovin'. And I love this ombre effect she has going on here. So pretty. More room for photos. A, another flip up with room for photos. And this is from Country Lovin'. So there's not much decoration here. Just a little bit here. And that's because we have a lot going on in this section. Okay. So then in between each of the sections, I did use some scraps and decorate the spines. And then here we have a cascading waterfall. And what I did for this is I took this image here and I cut it apart so that you have the whole image if you look down like this. So we have our cute little bow in his balloon floating above the field of heart flowers. And you just open it up and I have photo mats inside here and each one of these photo mats gets a little bit larger as you go along. So this is really cute. And then this is a lot of space for more photos. So that is the left side of the book. And then here we have the center portion. Okay, so there's a lot in here too. Like I said, this is a small folio with a lot of goodies in it. So on the top here, we've got the little baby getting ready to take his nap. You open that up and this is all closed up with magnets. We've got the love paper here from Sweet Bliss. And then down here we have the another one of the button images from Country Lovin'. And it also has that ombre effect going up like this. Then this flips down. And down here we've got another image from Sweet Bliss. Lots of room for photos here. Then here we have our little sweetie. And once again, she's got the Wink of Stella on her. And she is waiting for her bow to come. Very cute. And you can add photos on here if you like. I probably wouldn't just because I like the image, but you could if you wanted to. And so then you open this up and this piece here is actually, it actually belongs with another sheet of this paper over here. You can see a little bit of the balloon there, but the sun belongs up here in this corner. So that would be one whole sheet if you put them side by side. And then you open this up and we have sister pages here. And on both pages, I'm using some of the Sweet Bliss paper here and I've made some tuck-in pockets. I have printed this out on some 110 pound cardstock and made some photo mats. Yeah, here is that full image there. Isn't that cute? Very cute. And those tuck in there. And on this side, we've got some more. All right. And in the center, we have a little pocket here. And of course, you can add photos back in here if you want, as well as here. And then here's our little sweetie. She has her Wink of Stella shiny bow and dress. Very cute. You can add a photo on the back or journal. Then we open up again. And I'm going to talk about this in a minute. But here we've got another pocket page, which matches this pocket page. And a couple more images that I cut into photo mats or postcards, however you want to use them. Another place you can put photos back there. And then this opens up to another sister page. And this is the main focus of this album. So what I've done is I have blown up this image onto a 12 by 12. And then I split it so that I could have it on all three pages. I think this is so adorable. Let me just take these out. And it didn't quite go all the way across, so I just added some pink cardstock here, created some little pockets to tuck some more cards in, and I'm using that cute die from my stash. And here we've got our little sweetie, and she's got a sparkly bow and dress, and our little bow here. He finally caught up with her, and now he's sending her Cupid arrows. <laughs> so yeah, that is my little folio that I created using... Country Lovin' and Sweet Bliss, 
And I love how this closes. Close, 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 and close. And so you have all of that in this little bitty mini folio. So there it is. We've got the folio, six cards, beautiful cards. We have the envelope with the ephemera and the cut parts, and you can put your stamps in there. We have our beautiful pokey tool and beatable pen and this gorgeous box to store it all in. So that's it. Those are my projects for Sweet Bliss and Country Lovin'. Paper Collections by Sandy at Decorate Your Life. You should definitely check her out. She has sales off and on. I'm not sure if these are still on sale. They were on sale when I received my guest designer package. And she also had a coupon going at the time as well. And she does have other paper collections I know for sure are on sale. Like I think La Condesa is on sale. And I will be crafting with that soon. I have to jump off and do a couple other projects and get those finished up. But yeah, I got this going on here. I think this just turned out so, so pretty. And by the way, the inspiration for the box came from Rosa Kelly at Rosa Kelly Scrapbooking. And the folio came from her her Patreon. You had to be a you, you had to be a Patreon member to get the instructions on how to make this. So yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. I know this has been a long video. I appreciate you sticking around and, and catching it all because there really is so much to see here. And the paper collections are just so adorable. You can get it in digital if you want to save some money and print yourself, or you can get the printed versions. Anyway, thanks again for stopping by and for sticking with me this far. I appreciate all of my subscribers, and if you are not a subscriber, I would really love it if you'd click that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified when I post my videos, so you don't miss out on any of my crafty adventures, and I will catch you later. See you on the next one. Bye, crafty peeps.